So at a Starbucks, this I believe happened yesterday. Look at this scene from Starbucks. This is what happened to two African Americans. Uh, excuse me, two black people. I've been criticized for calling African Americans. <laughs> two black people who were simply there. They hadn't ordered anything yet. Take a look. What did they do? Someone told me they did. They didn't do anything. I saw the entire thing. They didn't do anything. What did they do? The woman said, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. You could read this tweet. The police were called because these men hadn't ordered anything. They were waiting for a friend to show up who did as they were taken out in handcuffs for doing nothing. All the other white people are wondering why it's never happened to us when we do the same exact thing. Starbucks response to this. Starbucks responded, we're reviewing the incident with our partners, law enforcement and customers to determine what took place and led to this unfortunate result. We're reviewing the incident with our partners, law enforcement and customers to determine what took place and led to this unfortunate result. So what you have there, and my apologies, I'm not positive which Starbucks or what state this happened in. Uh, I'll try to get that information. So obviously somebody called the police on two black people who were pretty much sitting, waiting for a friend. I'd gone to Starbucks before, I've gone places before and not bought anything and sat down waiting. Nothing ever happened to me. I'm sure you have too, if you're, if you're a white person. You know, sometimes you go into somewhere, you don't immediately buy something, you wait. You know, it's happened when I've gone on dates. You, you show up first, you sit down, you don't immediately order a drink or order anything, you, you just sit down and wait. <laughs> it, it's not, it's not a country, you know, if, if they were hanging around there and, you, you know, you saw a gun in their pocket, you know, you saw a gun hoisted uh, with them or you saw them doing some strange things or, or being inappropriate with your, your customers, that would be one thing. But you see two black guys sitting there, they didn't order anything, but it seems to me from what the white people at Starbucks said, they weren't doing anything outlandish. They were just sitting there minding their own business. I don't know who called the police. It could have been people who worked at Starbucks. It could have been another customer. Who the hell knows? But it's kind of ridiculous and obviously racist and obviously a double standard. And I'm very happy to see that at least the white people there were saying uh, they didn't do anything. What are they getting arrested for? So let me show you. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Sean King tweeted this. We know what happened. It was a gross double standard rooted in racism. What we need is an apology followed by restitution. We need you to proactively make this right by the two young men you violated. Couldn't have said it better. Like this, this goes back to, you know, the out of control police, the out of control police in this country that seem to be very, very scared, very, very scared when they see black people walking on the street. Well, they see black people, you know, move to their, you know, move their hand in the general direction of their, of their waist. They think that they have a gun. Most of the time they have, you know, Skittles or a, a cell phone. The, 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 the inherent racism in our society, I don't have the answer on how that could be fixed. I really don't. But, you know, the problem is most of the police coming are also white. And they are trained, and they are trained to think that black people propose more of a risk. Mind you, the most terrorism and gun, gun mass shootings in this country are perpetrated by extremist right wings, right wingers, white, white right wingers. But you're not gonna see this really on CNN or any of these places, the fact that two black guys, you know, were arrested at Starbucks for the crime of standing there and not ordering a latte right away. 
Uh, and by the way, like I happen, I don't drink it all the time, but I like Starbucks coffee. Like it's this is one Starbucks. It's an unfortunate thing that happened. So I'm not saying like boycott Starbucks, but we need to know what exactly were they arrested for? What were they pulled out of Starbucks for? Did they say something to customers that was inappropriate? Did they invade people's personal space? It's not illegal to go into a business and not buying any, not buy anything right away. You know, sometimes you see uh, signs, you know, bathroom only for paid customers. Okay. But you don't see a sign like you can't come in if you don't buy anything. A lot of times you have two people sitting at a table somewhere and one person bought something and the other person didn't. You ever gone to a restaurant, you have like three or four people and three people buy something and one says, I'm not hungry. So it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And by the way, I'm sure they said before being arrested, they were waiting for a friend. They were waiting for a friend. Why didn't the police say, okay, let, can we call your friend? Or let's wait here to see your friend come. It, it shouldn't have even come to that. It's so backwards. So I'll follow up on it. I'll see what, I'll see what Starbucks actually does. Uh, I will follow up as best as I can on this uh, to make sure that there's some justice. I hope to find the police report in this incident. I hope we get a better action from Starbucks. I hope we find out who called the police and why. So I will follow up on this as well as the other stories I'm currently working on and following up on.